What's up everyone? This is Jordan and today we're going to talk about Bitcoin very quick update um, on basically what's happening. If you're interested in the more detailed and longer term explanation and analysis that I did a few days ago, you can click on the link above. But for the time being, let's go ahead and check out what Bitcoin is doing. Uh, in a very quick summary, the idea is that I'm expecting this thing to push towards 70 plus K and then we're probably going down. But until then, <clears throat> in my opinion, we can be looking for the buys. So two possible scenarios. I'm going to start with the least favorite one, which is we're currently in a zigzag and this zigzag is going to continue lower and it's going to reach Mm -hmm. um 50 plus something okay but actually let's drop the levels here yeah that would be the zone so let's mark it just for a second okay right here we have the zone so this is 55 down to 53 let's say all right for this scenario and as i said this is the least preferred scenario for me but if we take a look at the thickest level, which is right here, and that's approximately 62 down to 61, we can see that the price managed to break above and it's currently holding above the zone. And I believe that this could be one of the interpretations here. So basically you have ABC, you have the breakout and the price has broken above this high and above this high and above this high. So it doesn't matter which one you would like to go ahead and pick. There will be always a breakout, all right? But this is not so important. The important part here, in my opinion, at least, is that we are breaking above this massive level. Look at it. This is a massive level and the price is breaking above it and holding above it. So I do believe, of course, this is just a personal opinion. This is not a financial advice. It goes without saying, but uh, if we start dropping more and more uh, evidence in terms of supports here, like the trend line, and I'm sure anyone else can drop here, feebles, et cetera, et cetera, you can find levels. This is a zone. And as long as this zone holds, I think we can be looking for buys here, okay? In terms of risk reward, this one makes a lot of sense because even if you buy from the current levels with a more or less conservative protection, I cannot really read and see all these numbers, I'm sorry. So let's just make it a bit more visual. Look at that, one to one risk reward ratio from this current market price is towards the swing, okay? So, um, just a few dollars below and this risk reward ratio changes drastically that could be done in various ways <clears throat> excuse me so we can see what's happening here and here we can again go ahead and check out the levels once i click this thing we see that uh, the rectangles here appear and basically what we do is the indicator will check all the bars visible on the chart so by going to the lower time frame, I'm actually telling the indicator, give me where most of the volume is on this part of the chart. If I zoom out, this will change slightly. But in any case, we understand that this is the level, right? If I zoom in a bit, it pretty much remains the same. Okay. So technically speaking, we can be looking at a bit further push to the downside. And one more reason for that is if we drop uh, trend lines over this triangle or whatever this structure is, there was no retest of this breakout yet. You see? And if it goes and retests, that starts to give us a much closer view to what we have seen before that. So um, this is pretty much the idea. If we drop further down, 
this is probably going to deliver a hidden divergence if that divergence is not there yet let's just double check yeah we already have the hidden so i think it looks good i think it looks reasonable to give it a shot even with the most conservative protection as i said which is below this low but if you do it a bit more <clears throat> excuse me aggressively then the risk reward ratio will be even better and of course at least for me the rule is very simple the more aggressive i'm going with the setup the lower the risk is always the more conservative i am the closer i'm going to my maximum risk per trade okay if that makes any sense to you so this is how i see uh bitcoin i guess this is intraday mid-term opportunity it's not long term but it doesn't matter how i look at it it still makes sense to do at least one more push up which brings us above 70k and then we'll see what to do all right if you have any questions please drop a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as possible have a good day